Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome to Factorio. We're going to be starting a series on uh, on this and we're on uh, version 017.14 I believe. And we are going to be playing a standard game, a new game. We're going to be leaving almost everything as default. The only thing I really want to change is that I hate cliffs and I don't want them, and I don't like them. So we will set cliffs to none, because they are just uh, a nuisance, really. If you don't know Factorio, Factorio is a game where we are basically aliens. We, uh, we've we landed on an alien planet, uh, crash-landed, that be it, and we are need to make a factory to build a rocket so we can send out a satellite and uh, get some help. So, and on the pl this uh, alien planet, uh, there are locals called biters, and the biters really don't appreciate our presence, and they certainly don't appreciate when our factory starts making pollution. Uh, it really ticks them off, and they start attacking us. So we need to defend ourselves as well. But we can uh, make a preview map, or preview a map here, and see what we get. Basically, it's really important that we have uh, coal here, uh, iron, copper, and stone relatively close, close together. In the beginning, those are our starting resources, which we really need. Uh, we will also eventually need uh, oil, which we have a small patch of over here. And that is actually the only oil patch I see. There's one up there. There's one down there. And there's a big one over here. Uh, all right. But this map does look uh, pretty OK. There's also some uh, uranium up here, which we will also uh, need at some point. So that's good. All right, so I think this map looks uh, pretty decent. Mm. So let's play on that. We have some biters that are relatively close by, but uh, I think that'll be okay. If you want to play along, the seed for this map is uh, 11300058760. So if you put that seed in, uh, uh, then you will be playing along on the exact same map. So let's get started. So we start here, we have the coal here, we have iron and we have copper. Let's start by uh, picking up some of these or mining some of these big sandy rocks because we will need a lot of rocks in the beginning to build furnaces and uh, burner mining, mining drills. So we might as well pick up this stone and uh, We'll be happy to have it. So let's see. Are there more? Yes, there's one down there. Unfortunately, none of these stones had coal in it in them, so that would have been nice. But unfortunately, that wasn't to be. So we will mine some coal here as well, and we will mine. I think we'll start out with ten coal. And then we'll be ready to start doing some iron mining, which is the first thing that we want to set up. All right, so we have 135 rocks, 10 coal, and one wood for some reason. I don't remember actually picking up wood, but fair enough. We'll just knock down these trees. We need them anyway to make power poles. So we have one burner mining drill to start with here, and we will build that. Oops. And we will put down a furnace and provide them both some fuel. And there we go. We are producing iron. Oops. So we're producing iron ore here, and we're burning it into iron plate over here. And if we open up, we can see we already have two iron plate in there which is not a whole hell of a lot, but uh, it's a start. I'm going to hold down control and left click to pick up all the iron plates in the, burner, uh, in the furnace. 
and we can build another burner mining drill, which we want to do. And while we wait for this uh, furnace to build up a little bit of iron, we will run around and pick up some trees. And hopefully there will be enough fuel here to give us nine iron plates, yes, to build another burner mining drill, which we can then set up in a closed circuit over here and generate coal for us so we don't have to worry about that. There we go. So these two will feed into each other and just keep going forever and ever or until their inventories are full, which they will be when they have 50 coal, I believe it is. So we have enough to make one more burner mining drill and a furnace, which is great. And we will pick up some of this coal so that we can get another drill going, making iron for us here. Oops, that is out of coal now. Let's just grab some more coal over here. What I think I'll do is I'll put coal down here on the bar, on my toolbar for now. And uh, let's put uh, alt mode on so that way we can see uh, what uh, our stuff is actually producing. We can build two more burner mining drills, excellent. And we can build two more stone furnaces. And we can put these down here. And get those going. Let's pick up some more coal. We're going to need to double up on that at least. So let's build one more, burn a mining drill and run back here and double up on our coal production and we will rotate this so that now they are all going round in a circle and producing coal for us and keeping each other going as well. So that's good. All right, uh, let's see, let's build some more of these. We will need them. And let's build a couple of boiler boilers because we'll need those too. We still have stone, so that is excellent. And let's just make these furnaces. Okay, so next we want to get some uh, copper mining going. Just pick up these rocks while we're here. We need the stone anyway. And let's start up on some copper mining. Oh, we need to get some coal before we can do that. We could use our wood, but I want to keep the wood for our, um, our power poles. Because it doesn't particularly look like there's a whole lot of trees around here, so I think we need to be a little bit careful about spending too much wood. Which is fine. Okay. So we have some coal, <coughs> and we will put that in there and start producing. Uh, copper plate. All right, and I think we will take two of more of these and put down here because we are using quite a bit of coal at the moment. And just extend the 
the chain here so that all six are feeding into each other. And we have some coal that we can put in here so we can keep producing that iron plate, which we really need. All right, we have copper and we can make an pump, a pump and two of the, what are they called? Uh, steam engines. Because we're going to need steam engines to produce power. And we really want to produce power very soon because we need that in order to be able to do some research, uh, which we would like to get going as fast as possible because, uh, well, we need, first of all, to uh, defend ourselves and we need to do uh, research in order to start uh, automating stuff, which is uh, generally the first thing we want to do. So we want to make some pipes. Where are the pipes there? We want an underground and we want some regular pipes. Well, we don't need that many actually. We can just make 10. That's more than enough. Let's see. All right. Grab some more copper. We've made 50 power poles, which is good. Uh, we've made everything we need for power here. So we need to make some, we need to make a lab and we need to make some science packs. And I think what we are going to start out by researching will be uh, automation and then probably logistics into military and turrets for defense. Okay, so we're off to a reasonable start, I think. It's going pretty well. And we could build more burner mining drills and put down, but I think uh, this will be fine to, to get us started. We'll make five more of those, and then we will make some transport belts. Get started preparing for automation, which will be fantastic. So the start of the game can be a little bit slow, but uh, it's fine. Whoops. Just grabbed all the coal out of there. So we have a bit of iron plate, a bit of copper plate. Not a whole hell of a lot of either, but enough that we, uh, we can get started. So let's go have a look. Where do we want to put power? We need water uh, to generate power. We could build it up here, or we could build it down here. Since we have biter bases up here and power produces quite a bit of pollution, I think we will go ahead and make our power down here. Or maybe, ah, we'll, we'll put it down here. Uh, that looks like a reasonable place. And there's, oh, there's a rock with some coal in it. We'll want to grab that because we'll need to power our furnaces or our uh, boilers uh, to generate the power that we need to get our research started. So let's just get, move this out of the way. And there are a bunch of trees down here. That's good. So we need to plant down our pump, put it there, and we will just make a gap here with an underground pipe because I like being able to run through there. And let's put down our two boilers, like so, 
and put our two steam engines. We actually need f two more, but that's fine for now. Uh, put a power pole here. Plunk down our research lab. Stick uh, our packs in there and provide some coal for these guys. And there we go. Now we just need to select our research and we will start with automation, logistics, military, and turrets, I think, is a reasonable way to start. And as we can see, the lab is now researching for us. So that is great. We are going to need some more science packs, though. Which we will handcraft in just a minute. We can actually start now. Let's just do 15. And then queue up some more transport belts. And I think some inserters as well. Yeah, that's fine. We are researching, and why are we researching turrets first? I did not ask it to do that, did I? Start, automation, start, ah, okay. Start automation. Why can't I? There's a research queue, but I guess I didn't activate that. Okay, never mind. We will just put it in one by one. So that's a new thing for 017, is that uh, there is actually a research queue, but you need to remember to tell the game to activate it always if you want to use it from the beginning, which I would have liked, but never mind. We'll live. We will live. Alright. So, I want some burner inserters as well. How many furnaces do I have? Not a lot. Let's make ten more. And let's go put some more science packs in here. There we go. And can we make uh, we can make one more steam engine and we want one more. The two steam engines we have are more than enough to power the uh, the lab, but I would like to have four because then we have a bit of a, a gap where until we need to to build more power up again. So because we will be starting to make machines that consume a lot of power soon. All right. Oh, I don't have any more science packs uh, on me. So let's do logistics. It takes 20 science packs and 15 seconds per cycle. So we actually need to make some more science packs. And we want to make start making some electric mining drills. So we can get started on automation. All right. We do, we should actually go up and we should make one more of these and make a chest and just get started on some stone production. Oh, we don't have it yet because we're making science packs. So it'll be a little while, but that's fine. Let's grab some more stone while we wait. All right, and we will need some wood. Well, so 
Let's just grab what little there is here. And check on our coal production here. Done. Grab some more iron and grab some more copper and run down here and put these two steam engines down. Whoops. And a power pole, which I will also put on my hotbar. All right, and stick some more science packs in here. And ten more. And give these guys some coal. And now we can basically start putting down some electric mining drills, which will be good for us. So let's just make five more of those. I have two now, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. What do we want to start out with? I think we'll start out with uh, automating coal and getting that going down to the... No, let's, let's start by automating iron. We'll need both iron and coal anyway. Yeah, let's uh, let's start with iron. Let, what way do we want to put these? Um, hmm. Let's see. Where do we want to build our bus? I think we'll build a a bus on this map. So I guess we will go out to the right with our bus, which means we'll have our smelting somewhere over here. Which means we want to go up or to the right with our miners and I think it doesn't really matter which way we go so let's just go up and put down these there are different ways of uh, putting down uh, miners uh, I like my way obviously uh, some people just put them down all together in in one uh, big line so what they'll do is, uh, I'll show you, put them down like this and put power poles behind. I like to leave a gap between every two machines because then I can have it, the power pole in here, and it'll actually power both sides. So that is what we're going to do. And I think we will move this over here and we will make some more miners if we can we can make six more just gonna start by f making five and making some more transport belt when we get some more iron need a lot of transport belt so let's run this up here actually a little bit too far so let's do like that and oops let's make our mining setup somewhere around here we can make iron up this way and uh, put the iron smelting area up here and we can put coal down or uh, copper down here I think Maybe we actually want to go past the two patches. Yeah, I think we want to go past the two patches of, uh, of resources here because they will get in the way if we don't do that. So that should do it, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, just empty these out before they get full. And we want to fill these guys up. We have a lot of coal now which is great so let's grab this iron plate and this copper plate uh, you can see I have only have 31 transport belts left I had 130 so yeah we're gonna be using a lot of that 
So let's start building a smelting area. Or actually, let's start by putting down some coal miners. And I think we will do that vertically as well. <coughs> and this uh, coal patch will have to supply both our smelting and our uh, power production uh, at the same time for now. How much coal is there in here? 227,000. That is not a whole hell of a lot. Actually, we don't have a whole hell of a lot of anything. So, but that's okay. So let's put down some miners. Let's do six. And we will make these go up and we will make these go down. Because power is something that you definitely don't want to run out of. Uh, I want to make some more miners, which I can't because I need more iron. Maybe I should have made some more uh, mining, iron mining over there, but I didn't, so that's that. We've researched uh, logistics, which gives us underground belts and splitters, which is fantastic. So let's... Uh, Let's start on military. And there we go. And hook these guys up with some power. Soon, we haven't connected down to the power production, but that's okay. And let's start moving some belt down this way. Can we make more now? No. Not really. And let's start over here at the at the power plants. What we want to do is we want to leave one gap here for a burner inserter and then start running the coal down this way. And I did make some burner inserters, did I? Yeah. Well let's wait by putting them down until we actually have coal flowing. I should have went, brought power up to these mining drills now that I'm running this way anyway, but never mind. Make some more transport belts. What we can do is we can start pulling this down. And we can start pulling it out this way. Stupid rock. All right, so power hooked up to the coal mining. They're going. You can see the coal flowing up there. If you can, it's dark at the moment and uh, in Factorio it gets really dark. So if you can't see, I apologize and uh, YouTube I know makes it even darker than it is in my game. So all right, we are out of transport belts again. We are not making a lot of progress right now, which is annoying, but we're still making a bit of progress, which is better than none. We're not researching anymore because we're out of science packs, which is less than perfect. All right, almost there, almost there. Let's go get some more iron. Up here, all right. 
and make some more. That was not a lot of iron. Hmm. I thought that would have been more. Let's uh, oops. Just rotate this and keep going. All right, that is hooked up. So it's a start. It's a start. Let's get these bad boys put down here. So the burner inserters, they need coal to function, uh, but they don't need power, which is great. So they will start by picking up coal and feeding themselves, and then they will uh, start feeding uh, the boilers afterwards. And that is actually really useful because if you do get a power outage, you, uh, your burner inserters will keep working even though there's no power or you're not providing enough power. So that is a really, really good deal. Oh, something is attacking me. Where are you attacking? Over there. Bastards. Oosh, that was close. Let's, uh, can we make, we don't have, oh, already, that was very fast that they're attacking us, I think, and I do not like it, and I'm not researching, so I need to get started on military research. I need some of those, and I need, let's make 10 science packs. Ah, oh, this is really going to slow us down, damn it. And we need a... We need two splitters, we need three splitters actually, and an underground. <sighs> that was not very nice. See, they, they really don't appreciate us uh, visiting their planet, the little bastards. And that has basically killed our coal production here, but we actually don't need these anymore, so let's just do that. We have 700 and more than 750 coal on us, and we have automated coal production now, so we absolutely don't need those anymore. Let's actually fill these up so we don't run out. And the same with these guys. And let's pull some you know, power down here. For now, we'll just go straight through the copper field. And now we have power for these guys, and they are producing. And let's stick the uh, research packs in there. And let's let's make ten more just for good measure. What we could actually do, we could make a tiny automation of uh, red science packs with a couple of assembling machines. I think we'll make two of those. Make some um, inserters. And what we will do here is, did we get, yep. Yeah. So we will put one of these here, one of these here. Um, let's see. I like to leave a little bit space here. It's uh, some people do, some people don't. I'm the ones that do. Uh, so we're going to set up our iron smelting up here. Once we get some more uh, transport belts and stuff. Transport belts. We really need a lot of transport belts. I just want to get this uh, set up real quick so that we are actually producing something. I will feel a lot better about my accomplishments in this episode if I get automated smelting. Mm -hmm. 
which we should be able to do fairly soon. Right, military science is finished, so let's do turrets. We do need to go down and put the last of our science packs in the in the lab. We'll do that in just a second. All right, inserters. Whoops. We don't need to, but just let's just do it. All right, get the iron ore hooked up. Get the coal hooked up. We will just turn here and let's see there. Let's see, do we have enough? I think we do. I think we do. So there. And what we're doing is we are basically putting iron ore on one side of the belt and coal on the other so that they are both on the same belt which means that they are sharing it and the inserters can reach all of it in one go which is very very nice so let's whoops Get some power up there as well, which we can just about do. There we go. And yay, we are producing iron plates automated. All right, so automated iron plate production. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.